Sandeep Jajodia, Chairman and Manage, Managing Director of Mon, Mon, Monet Ispat and Energy, joins us live from New Delhi. Sandeep, morning. Thank you for joining us. Sandeep, if I look at your numbers for the quarter gone by, I would say it was a mixed picture for you. Steel did well and power revenues were under pressure. Yeah, that is right. Actually, um, power has not been doing as great as it should be doing uh, for the last, uh, I would say, four or five quarters. The reason for that is that the uh, market prices of power, the merchant rates, have come down a lot. And uh, not that there's no demand, but there are a lot of issues regarding uh, evacuation. There's a lot of issues about state utilities not buying power because of their financial health not being good. So these are the reasons that even though there is, there is demand and there is always al also a lot of power cuts in the various states, uh, power has not been selling that much, which means that there's been pressure on prices, on merchant prices, and, um, and hence the margins being lower. So, but steel has been uh, generally okay. Uh, we expected steel to be much better, in fact, because uh, we expected uh, more steel to be used in infrastructure growth. But overall, with the business environment being a little slow and consumption pattern being a little slow, uh, even steel, uh, you know, can do better. I mean, there is scope of steel doing better. Right. What is the volume and realization uh, from the steel business in the quarter, if you could highlight that? And any additional capacity coming on stream in the next two to three quarters, which can change uh, uh, the overall supply as well as your ability to command higher prices? You see, we are, the, uh, we are currently uh, uh, in the process of implementing our 1.5 million ton uh, integrated steel mill. So this is actually a brownfield project. So it will, you know, take our sponge iron uh, stage to, uh, you know, plates and coils. So that should happen between now and let's say October or so. So with the, I'm very, I'm very, very buoyant about that. You know, once that's in place in the next couple of months, uh, we. We become a very, very energy efficient plant, even though we are still a very energy efficient plant, but the way we have, we have uh, planned this whole 1.5 million ton uh, uh, unit, uh, we believe that you know, our raw metal prices will be in better control, we, our energy utilization and optimization will be better, and um, so hence it will reflect on our margins. And of course, uh, with, the, with the capacity like 1.5 million getting added, our turnover at top line and bottom line should uh, in the next two years or so go three times from where we are. So it's a, it's a, it's a challenging time for us uh, as well as a very exciting time for us and uh, uh, I'm really looking forward to this uh, uh, coming in place uh, soon. Mm. And uh, that should really change our balance sheet uh, substantially. Yeah. Mm. Sandeep, uh a uh, fall in rupee, is that good for your business or is that bad for your business? You see, uh, because we are uh, primarily uh, dependent on domestic raw materials and we are an integrated place, a player, so in a way fall in rupee helps us because it only makes imported steel more expensive and it only makes our competitors less competitive, you know, as, uh, vis a vis us. But um, I think it's not good for the country, in, 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 so it should, it should not happen beyond the point. Uh, that's one. But once we commission our blast furnace, we will be importing coking coal and coke. So that will be one component which will be imported, uh, which will, where the rupee will hurt, where, where, a, where a weak rupee will hurt. But overall, you know, because uh, we, are, we, are very, uh, uh, we are using most of our raw metals out of captive mines, so we have an advantage over most of the other players and uh, that only makes us uh, more competitive and you know uh, stronger uh, if, if the rupee becomes weak. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Sunny, the, the economic the, the, times the today is still also becomes more expensive. Yeah, yeah fair point. Uh, so my follow-up question is yeah. really on the big picture and the economic times, I'm sure you must have read that poll, they're carrying a story which is that most of the corporate India or the India Inc. this time around is rather disturbed and disappointed given the way how policy is on a standstill. Is that your experience as well? And given the way how things have not moved in last 12 months and last 18 months, are you also delaying your CAPEX plans? You see, uh, right now I would say that uh, India is going through a, a, a point, uh, a time which is not healthy for business at all. You know, I mean, uh, uh, consumption has not gone up the way it was expected. I mean, I'll, I'll talk about steel and power, for example. Uh, now, steel, uh, you know, all these uh, companies uh, had planned capacities, including us, based on a certain consumption pattern and uh, based on a certain uh, growth rate of, uh, of the economy. 
but that's not happened i mean uh, delays in decision uh, uh, so much confusion in the air has created uh, uh, you know infrastructure projects not to take off and uh, therefore we've had very uh, uh, much lower consumption than we expected my worry is in the coming 6 uh, months to 1 year or let's say in the in the short term uh, we could actually have a steel glut because the, the 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 capacities which have which will come into play will not find the market which is expected to find so that is a that is a worry for sure of course monitor spark being a low cost producer and being a, um, a producer having a good uh, uh, raw material links uh, would always have better margins and would uh, still be able to possibly protect uh, a, a good bottom line but uh, generally speaking i think uh, uh, steel industry will go through a bit of a pressure uh, and i think government has to do something really about this you know i mean government needs to address this i mean all you read in the newspaper every morning is a new scam you know is uh, is some policy being reversed or some policy being delayed so which is which is really sad which is obviously make every uh, corporate very nervous a uh, monet uh, uh, is also looking out uh, uh, for further expansions because i believe the opportunities in the in, in the african uh, continent and the latin america is much higher than what india of, of offers at the moment mm. and i think we'll be able to uh, uh, you know do much better to our stakeholders if we start investing outside what about tying up funds uh, so for the same so there is an issue i mean mr jode what about tying up funds Sorry? for the same for your expansion plans as you just highlighted you see currently we are uh, doing uh, two major expansions i just mentioned about the 1.5 million ton uh, steel mill which uh, uh, after it's uh, completed it will be about a 5200 crore investment uh, then we are implementing a 1050 megawatt power plant which is another 5300 crore uh, uh, expansion and which will get into uh, uh, play by Ju july 13 so we are doing about 10000 crores which we are fully funded you know we've got the debt in place we've got the equity in place so we're fully funded what we really need to do now is uh, 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 when we find a good opportunity in the african or the latin american uh, in the african or the latin american continent in terms of mineral assets uh, we will get that funded separately um, and uh, maybe we would also seek some funding for our expansion in the power business which we want to add another 660 megawatts so that be another 4000 crore project and we'll probably seek um maybe not maybe it will be more debt because we'll have enough cash on our balance sheet uh, once both these expansions are in place one is happening now in this financial year and the next and the other one is happening the power business is coming into play in in 12 in 13 14 so we'll have enough cash generated uh, out of that business uh, to take care of our equity requirements i think we will only seek for some debt right so what's and, the yeah. bottom line here fy12 was a okay quarter for you you've managed to protect your margins you've managed to grow steel business did, did well for you what is your outlook for fy13 are you likely to maintain the same ratios or given the kind of environment we are in it could be a tough year for you you know <clears throat> in absolute numbers we will do much better uh the reason for that is that uh, our volume growth will be there i mean all this uh, new capacities are going to kick in so absolute numbers uh, <coughs> will grow however margins uh, ebitda margins may take a hit as i mentioned uh, the prices i'm not so sure about towards the end of the calendar year we might see a dip uh, because i i believe uh, many steel companies are coming up with new capacities like us and uh, i really hope this is consumed and uh, uh, in the country but there is seems to be a question mark on that uh, because of the slow decisions and uh, uh, as i mentioned the infrastructure growth is is, is slow down uh, so there is a bit of a worry but um, in terms of uh, growth uh, uh, overall our top line will be higher our bottom line will be higher but ratio may not may get disturbed yes uh, the percentage margins may come down